Congrats, Geometry Geniuses, on making it to Chapter 3. 3.1 is going to start talking about lines and angles, things that you already know a little bit about. What's this lesson exactly going to talk about? We'll be identifying relationships between non-intersecting lines and planes, specifically, or namely, parallel lines. These don't meet. These never meet. It's really a shame. You can think of this like railroad tracks. You'll never find the intersection of Broad Street and 22nd Street. Parallel planes. That's a little different. That's like a plane. It's like, this is tough three dimensionally, but you can think of it like that. Yeah, that kind of works where this is higher up and this is below it. You can also think of it like a sandwich, how the top layer is never going to intersect that bottom layer, unless you don't have anything on the sandwich, in which case that's a little odd. Uh, skewed lines that don't really meet or intersect and they're on different planes. And in the next video, you'll see the types of angles that are formed by two lines in the transversal. That one's pretty cool. So let's see what's going on. Uh, parallel lines, that should already sound familiar, like something you've already worked with. It should ring a bell, I think, where these are planar lines that do not intersect. The symbol that we use to show this kind of looks like two slashes. Or if you wear Adidas shoes, you know, Adidas is kind of like that, or maybe it's the other way, I forget. But you can think of it as just two dashes to show that it's parallel to. So in this three-dimensional example here, this is saying that line AE is parallel to line BF. In addition, I'll actually show this. So AE is going from the top down. BF is also going top down. The arrows show that these won't intersect. AD to BC, that's the same kind of song and dance. Green doesn't really show up too well, but maybe this will be a bit dark. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, so AD and BC run parallel. That one's pretty easy. With skewed lines, these are slightly different. So these are non-coplanar, meaning that these are not on the same plane. They're not parallel and they don't intersect. It's kind of as if they have nothing to really do with each other. So I'll show this in black. So this is saying that AB and CG are skew. So AB is through here. C to G is way out here. So these are definitely not on the same plane. They're in different locations of the box, if we're calling this a box type diagram. So that should help. Parallel planes do not intersect. This makes sense because this plane A, B, C, D is higher up and E, F, G, H is below it. So again, similar to the sandwich example, this is A, B, C, D. And let's use purple for E, F, G, H. So these kind of hover over each other. And this is a little tricky because you've only really been graphing in Algebra 2 in two planes, but now we start to see diagrams in three, three-dimensional. So taking a, another look at the diagram, talking about which lines are parallel to GF. So I know that GF is going from the back towards the front, so sometimes it helps to rewrite these. So GF looks like this. So we're looking for lines that run parallel to that. Well, I know that E to H is definitely going to work. A to D is going to work. And C to B is going to work because these are all going from the back towards the front. So that's why we can say all three of those are fair game. What else? Which lines are skewed to GF? So recall that with skewed lines, these are not on the same plane. They're not parallel. They don't intersect. Well, I know that GF is here, so it's still that same line. It's going like that. I don't want to use EF for HG. I don't want to use HE either because those are parallel. So let's see, we could say AE, -A because that's going vertically. So AE goes like up and down. I'm just kind of rewriting what's going to be skewed. You could also use HD. 
We don't want to use CG because that would intersect. We could use AB. AB is fair game. And also DC. So it's those four. Yeah. So CD again went from here to here. AB goes here to here. D to H was here to here in the back. Yeah, there we go. And then also A to E. Cool. So we got those four. Um, you'll notice that although we have the diagram, I still draw these out. I think that's really helpful. Definitely hold on to it if you think that's going to work. And it's also a good practice to just try and draw these. Which planes are parallel to plane BCG? Well, I know that BCG is kind of holding down this right wall here. So a plane that's going to run parallel to that across the way, what's this plane going to be? Kind of showing that it's hiding. But what's this plane to the left? It's going to be A, D, E, H. See? Notice? It's right there. It's parallel to it. They're kind of sandwiched away from each other. Cool. So we got that. Given another example of parallel lines, you have tons of options here for lines that run parallel. You could say that EF runs parallel to GH. What about another line that runs parallel to these? So if it runs parallel to EF, GH, DC, it's going to have to be AB. Skewed lines are as follows. You can also see more parallel lines, or sorry, uh, skewed lines, parallel lines. Uh, I think these terms are pretty easy to understand. The skewed one's a little tricky, but that's nothing you can't handle. If you have any questions on this section, let me know. Thanks for watching.